In this short presentation, I would be showing how to use the new model import wizard in PSPICE model editor 10.5 to associate a PSPICE model with an ORCAD capture symbol and then to associate an ORCAD capture symbol with a PSPICE model. First, I need to invoke the PSPICE model editor by going to start, then programs, ORCAD 10.5, PSPICE accessories and then model editor which brings up the PSPICE model editor window where I'm going to the file menu and then model import wizard. Now in this model import wizard window I need to browse the location of my PSPICE model file which I had previously downloaded from the vendor. Notice that these files have an extension .lib. I also need to specify the destination path of the capture symbol library. This library will contain symbols to which my models will be associated. By default, it is created within the same location as the PSPICE model itself and in this case it is going to create a models.olb in the default location. I'm going to click on next to proceed further. The model import wizard shows a list of models within this browsed.lib file. In this case, I have three different PSPICE models for which I can associate an ORCAD capture symbol. In the first case, the model import wizard has pre-associated a capture symbol to match my PSPICE model. This is because it scans through the description of my model and recognizes that it is an NPN transistor. I can click on the view model text button at the bottom to view the description of my model. I can also replace this transistor symbol by clicking on the replace symbol button and by choosing a different symbol. In this example I decide not to do that. However, in the remaining cases the wizard does not pre-associate the models with a symbol. This is because these PSPICE models are described as a sub-circuit. Next, I would like to associate a capture symbol with this op-amp model. I click on the associate symbol button at the bottom where I can pick my capture library of symbols. In this example, I have browsed the opamp.olb that comes along with the tool. The wizard is intelligent enough to show me only a list of symbols that have the possibility of association with my models. It has automatically eliminated irrelevant symbols from this list. Now I choose a symbol of my choice and click on the next button where it tells me to associate the pins in my symbol to the appropriate model terminals. Now if I'm not sure of the pin assignment I can look it up on the model description. By looking at the description of the model I'm going to map my pins quickly. I'm going to hit the save symbol button here. The preview window shows the symbol associated with this op-amp model. As you can see, there is yet another model which needs a capture symbol association. Now if I choose to hit the finish button without associating it, the wizard would prompt me by asking if I would like to assign a generic symbol for this unassociated model. If I click yes, the wizard would create a generic rectangular box-like symbol for this model instead of the triangular op-amp symbol which I chose earlier. So far, you, ha you have seen how to associate a PSPICE model with an existing ORCAT capture symbol. Next, I would like to show you how to associate a capture symbol to an existing PSPICE model. In this section, I have opened a capture symbol library in ORCAT capture. 
Now I will show how to associate a capture symbol from this list with a relevant piece by model. For example, I'm going to associate this op amp symbol with a piece by model that I already have. First I need to select the symbol, right click and then choose associate piece by model, which brings up the model import wizard once again. In this window, I need to browse to my pspice model library file, which is a .lib file. Here, I have browsed to a file called models.lib, which I had downloaded earlier. The wizard shows a list of available models within this lib file to which my symbol can be associated. I choose one as per my requirement and click on the next button. Here, I need to map the pins in my symbol with appropriate terminals in my model. I'm going to do that quickly here. Once again, if I have any doubts, I can click on the view model text to see the description of my model. Now, when I hit the finish button, my association is complete. This ends this short presentation. Thank you for spending your time with me.